Hi, welcome to artistic documentation. In this video, I will show you that how to design a data sheet for a school. So here you can see I have marked up the class 1 to class 10 and this is the year of 2021. So then come to the number of students for a class. So here you can see I have just randomly input the data. So here the basically this tutorial is goes for a chart design like which is cylindrical chart and how can you manipulate the chart color and the gradient which is more visual and reflect the data for our viewers or customer so hereby it's really match with the real-time data structure project so when you go for a data entry project so this types of calculation or chart design is required for a uh, main time or real time data so this is basically made for the tutorial and in my previous two three videos is goes for the bank PL sheet design and others some tutorial you can see that is exactly the real time project what I have faced already from the Upwork client so that's why I have shared with you some demo data used used some demo data on that tutorial and give you some more information about the data structure project or data entry project so hereby this is the main requirement for the tutorial purpose and hereby you can see the average per result and the percentage of pass out and for the last 10 years it is uh, defined the record of a school and the third one is the manu manufacturing development so sometimes i have faced like for the scored wise the government will provide some infrastructure development amount which is sponsored for the scored mark so based on the class assessment and all the passed out student percentage is depend on is uh, influenced the infrastructure development so that's why this column has added with this and here the average result and percentage of pass out and as well as the infrastructure development is included with this chart so here you will get very good result which has almost almost not uh, just exactly for I have used that thumbnail and almost same as the thumbnail so basically uh, all of my thumbnails is goes for the after my coding or after my solution output result is used inside the thumbnail so you will get the exactly same as the thumbnail so here just I have marked the input and you will get the result so sometimes we need to uh, calculate the average result or mathematical terms we need to use in this types of chart so in my previous five to six videos or five to six learning tutorial you can see here by you will get some calculation like plus minus addition subtraction multiplication column wise multiplication and row wise multiplication you will get every times of every terms of mathematical calculation which is used inside the excel so i will give you some more information or functional solution inside the excel and how to manipulate it for the real time data i will give you so now come to the uh, marked input so here you can see basically the three column I am marking for a chart. So first mark the columns and then come to the insert option. Then come to the chart designing option. Here you will select the second one like you can see the cutter. So here you can see uh, I have just click on this chart and here you need to select the title like I have used the year I have used 2021 chart 
and I will remove the axis and the so this is the uh, color fling option and you can manipulate any kinds of color gradient solid color any kinds of things you can use for this column like this column chart so I will give you more information please stay with this video at least I can confirm you uh, if you clearly watch this video fully you will get some more information which is included with the chart so here we can see I have used the marking that which uh, data is defining which color so now come to the design of the column of this chart so first you select the column and inside the column you can see here uh, I have used the gradient color and first time I didn't select that what types of color or gradient I will select for but after that I choose this color and it will give us more colorful or more reflecting solution so this is really very mandatory to select the color for a gradient and this will basically reflect your data structure means a percentage of data so now you can visualize more clear rather than previous so this way you can find out the exact color you want to select for your data sheet so this is required and this mass of knowledge is required for everyone which is included with this data structure program so you now come to the column wise color selection and here I am trying to use some more reflect reflection for a column like wideness because more wideness will give you more clear solution clear vi visualization so when you use the solid color like no color you want to use so that time you need to use the solid color and select the perfect invisible option it will give you sorry perfect negative option and it will give you the solid color so only one single column I have used the solid color because of your learning so this way you can represent the particular single column or a group of column you can select and choose the color and change the color so this way you can make a very good or visualized chart for any kinds of data structure project so thanks for watching my video and hope you guys learned something new and if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel and welcome again to my channel